In today's video, we're going to talk about how to select your first Chanel bag. How can we select a bag that we will actually wear and use? I bought my first Chanel bag in 2008. Who remembers the first Sex and the City movie that came out in 2008? There was a leaked photo of Carrie Bradshaw wearing the Hollywood bag. It was ombre gold or accordion, and the front flap didn't even close securely. And at that time, we were inspired by celebrities. So when I found out that bag was going to be featured in the movie, I called Chanel right away and they shipped me the bag. And I was that girl who wore that bag to watch the movie with my three other girlfriends. Oh yes, I was a 2008 cliche, but I felt fabulous and I enjoyed the movie. Since then, I wore that bag two other times in the next 10 years. And although I paid $2,900 for that bag, when I finally sold it to Fashion File, they gave me a whopping 800 bucks. So having worn that bag three times in 10 years, to me, is an epic fail. So thinking about this, I wondered, what advice would have I given to my younger self so I could have made a better decision? That is the topic of this video. So far, I haven't seen anybody on YouTube make a video suggestion like this. I'll be going over 15 common Chanel bags today, most of them that I'll be pulling from my collection that I'll be doing mod shots on. So there's going to be plenty of bag eye candy. Grab a snack, grab a drink. This is going to be a long one. So before we get started, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. All right, so let's get started. My thought process is past behavior is useful at predicting future behavior. So what that means is most of us has some type of bag collection before buying your first Chanel, I would assume. I think it's rare that your first bag is actually going to be a Chanel bag, but if you are, more power to you. But I'm going to assume that you have some type of a bag collection. So first option that I would tell my younger self is make a bag selection by category. And category includes shoulder, crossbody, and top handle. I would look at my current collection and pick the top two bags that I use, not the ones that I love, but the ones I actually use, and to figure out if those two bags are shoulder, crossbody, or top handle. And it's okay if one of them is a shoulder bag and the other one's a crossbody bag. It just means you have more choices. Now I'm going to go over each category and show you which Chanel bags are shoulder, crossbody, or top handle so you can see all your choices. All right, so we're gonna start with shoulder bags because this is the largest category. Let's start with the small classic double flap. You could wear it two ways on the shoulder. You can double it up to wear it on the short shoulder. When I do wear it this way, I push it to the back so it doesn't get in the way. I will adjust the strap to wear it on the long shoulder. I am five feet, six inches or 167 centimeters tall. This is a medium large and it's a seasonal flat bag. This is on the short shoulder, on the long shoulder. This is the jumbo classic double flap and I borrowed this from a friend of mine. On the short shoulder, it sits comfortably and I don't need to push it to the back. On the long shoulder, it is too long. This is the trendy CC small on the shoulder. This is the Chanel 19 in the medium, which is the smallest size. Next is the mini rectangle. It sits pretty low when not adjusted on my five foot six inches frame. This is too long for me, but if you're like five, 10 or six feet, you can handle the longer strap length. This is the mini top handle. It sits about the same as the mini rectangle, but the mini top handle doesn't look as awkward because of the top handle. This is the classic wall on chain. I didn't adjust this strap either, and it sits lower than the mini rectangle. This is the Gabriel Hobo in the small. With the chain doubled up, it sits comfortably. This is a DeVille tote. And on the shoulder, it sits comfortably on the side. I can also push it to the back. There are three other bags that are not in my collection, 
that you can wear on your shoulder. First is the Chanel 22. Next is the boy bag. And last is the Urban Spirit backpack. All right, let's explore the crossbody category. The important point is that the classic flap may not work as a crossbody. I'm 5'6", and it sits too high. If you're shorter than me, then it could work. This is my medium large, and it sits too high. This is my 2014 medium large, and it sits fine. You can see the huge difference in the strap length. This is a classic flap, and this is a seasonal flap. Not all seasonal flaps have a longer strap drop. Whether or not you could wear the medium large as a crossbody will depend on the bag and your height. This is the trendy CC small as a crossbody, and if it gets in the way, you could wear it on the back. The Chanel 19 medium can be worn as a crossbody. I want to point out that the size above this, which is the Chanel 19 in the large, I cannot wear it as a crossbody, and that is why I let that one go. The maxi, which is the largest size, can be worn as a crossbody. The mini rectangle works as a crossbody. Same with the mini top handle. And this is true for the classic wad on chain. The Gabriel hobo in the small on the crossbody can be too long. You can wrap the strap a few times to adjust or shorten the strap. So there is one Chanel bag that I don't recommend as a first Chanel bag, but there's something that you need to know. This is the Chanel reissue that was originally designed by Coco Chanel, and it doesn't have the CC turn lock. But the point is, you could wear it as a crossbody, unlike most Chanel medium large. The question is, can I wear the jumbo as a crossbody? I could, but I personally wouldn't. If I was 5'10 or taller, I think I could and would. This bag swings too much on me as a crossbody, and it sits too low, so I find it very awkward as a crossbody. Alright, let's talk about the top handle. Let's start with the trendy CC. You could wear this as a top handle and on the crook of your arm. This is the Chanel 19, and you could wear it as a top handle and then on the crook of your arm. This is the Chanel 19 Wad on Chain, and you could wear it as a top handle and also on the crook of your arm. And this is your mini top handle. This DeVille tote has a top handle, so of course you could wear it as a top handle. Not all DeVille totes have a top handle, so definitely watch for that. And of course, the Urban Spirit backpack can be worn as a top handle so we just went over all three categories, and there's a few bags that could be worn in all three ways. That's the Chanel 19 in the medium and the maxi, the Chanel 19 in the wall on chain, and the trendy CC. So will this versatility convince you to get one of these? If your top two bags are in the shoulder and the crossbody category, you may want to choose a bag that can do both. So what is your preference? I personally have a strong preference for crossbody over the shoulder. In most cases, just the top handle is a deal breaker for me, but recently I'm getting more used to just a top handle bag. If a crossbody is a must for you, then don't buy the classic flap. It may not work for you. I have a friend and the classic flap is on her wish list, but recently she bought the Alma BB in the blue and it came with a shoulder strap. And after having it for like two weeks, and then she returned it because it wouldn't do crossbody. I told her that maybe the classic flap isn't a good idea for her because she can't wear a crossbody. Chanel bags are expensive and this is not the time to experiment. Stick with what you know that works for you. And let's say you do want to experiment. Let's say I don't have a top handle bag in my collection. Then I would say go buy a top handle bag from Zara or something like that and try that out before spending thousands on a Chanel top handle bag. So what could be more successful than selecting by bag category is to make a selection by the style of the bag you currently use the most. Again, past behavior has a high likelihood of dictating future behavior. 
So if the bag you use the most is a backpack, then select a Chanel backpack. If the bag you use the most is a tote, then select a Chanel tote. If the bag you use the most is like a YSL Lulu, a Gigi Marmont, then a Chanel Classic flap could work for you. If you use the most a mini bag, then go for the Chanel mini rectangle. If your most used bag is slouchy and kind of big, then go for the Chanel 19. You may say to me, I already have a backpack. Why would I want to buy another Chanel backpack? And that's a fair question. I personally would prefer to have two backpacks that I use than to have one backpack that I use and then let's say I bought a top handle that I end up using like once a year. As a first bag, for me, it's better to buy something that I already know that I will use. And as a second bag, after I bought that top handle from Zara to figure out if I reach for that or not, I would say buy the Chanel top handle bag as a second bag. But remember that the question I'm trying to answer here is, how do I buy a bag that I will use? And if later it turns out that you use the Chanel backpack more than your other backpack, then you can let go of that backpack and sell it and use that money to fund your next Chanel bag. So similar to what I said earlier, pick a color or the second color you wear the most. In my opinion, the most commonly made mistake is people buy the classic flap in the black, especially when they don't reach for black bags. If you reach for a red shoulder bag the most, it's actually a safer choice to buy a red shoulder bag rather than buying the purple shoulder bag because you already have a red bag and you don't have a purple bag. You may never reach for the purple bag. If you don't want two shoulder bags in the red, which I totally understand, then you can consider getting the Chanel bag in your second most worn color. So I don't know what I was thinking, buying a gold ombre bag. I didn't have any gold in my collection or ombre. And frankly, it clashed with most of my other outfits. So at that time, I thought that bag was pretty in the photo. And so now thinking back, what in the world was I thinking? All right, so the next important thing is, if you can try it on before you can make the purchase, do that. Currently, it is quite impossible to go try on all these bags at the Chanel store because they don't have any inventory. If there's a consignment store nearby who actually has some of these Chanel bags that you want to try on, I would recommend you go to that store and try on a couple of sizes. For me, there's a huge consignment store next to where I live. So I happen to drop by there like once a month, sometimes twice a month. And I try on bags that I currently don't own. And that's for Chanel, Fendi, Dior, Hermes, whichever. And that helps me refine my wish list. And finally, if that's not an option for you, then consider ordering from a reseller with a return policy. As much as I enjoy shopping from the real real, the bags there are final sale. I hope one day they'll change that, but that is the case at this time. And before you purchase, remember to read the return policy so that if you do have to return it, you could return it within the return window. So I have a little luxury confession for you. So a few years ago, there was a boy bag that I had on my wish list, and I finally found it in the color condition and the price I was willing to pay. I was super excited. I added to cart and I checked out. And when I got it home, I tried it on with like 10 outfits, everything from casual loungewear to combat boots with a dress to a suit. And it only worked with one outfit. And so after having the bag for five days, I was so sad, but I ended up returning it. And that was the absolute right decision for me. All right, so it's time for me to reveal what I should have done. So in 2008, my two most used bag was a shoulder bag and a crossbody bag. And one was white and one was off-white. So if the younger me followed this advice, I would have bought a white or off-white mini rectangle. The mini rectangle, you can do both shoulder and crossbody. And if I bought that bag, I think it would still be in my collection right now. Because right now I have two white Chanel bags and two walled on chains. So again, this is what I would have told my younger self. You do whatever you want with your money. Let me know in the comments what you ended up doing. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.